Hi everybody, I'm Melissa. Welcome back to my pregnancy week to week series. I'm going along all of this with you guys as I'm having a baby, my sixth baby. So week 17, here we are. What's going on? How's the baby? How are you? Let's get to it. At week 17, your baby weighs five ounces and is five inches long, about the size of a pear, my oldest son's favorite fruit. Your baby is starting to gain some fat, which will replace the fuzzy lanugo. Your baby's brain is starting to take control of some of its bodily functions, most notably the heart. Prior to this week, your baby's heart was very quick and erratic and regulated only by the heart's muscles. At week 17, however, your baby's brain begins to regulate the heartbeat to a constant of about 140 to 150 beats a minute. The bump and exercise. I clearly have a bump. Um, and I don't know, you guys can tell me how you're feeling and how you're looking, but this is my week 17 bump. I do like some bar classes a couple times a week. I do Pilates once a week and I do some sort of gentle yoga and I'm walking. Let's go over some of the symptoms you might be feeling. And I have the first of this really badly. Even right now, my eyes are like extremely blurry. Breast growth is another one. I haven't seen that yet, unfortunately. Congestion, I have that. Dizziness, I've had it. Headaches, a bit. Heart burn, I've talked about it. I haven't had it. Round ligament pain, yes, I've had that. Swollen gums and varicose veins and spider veins. Those I've got a few popping up here and there, which I am not a fan of. Two other symptoms to be aware of at this stage. Allergy sensitivity. If you are prone to allergies, they might increase during pregnancy. Avoid going outside when possible and wear sunglasses. Um, You should check with your doctor, but apparently medicines like Claritin and Benadryl are also safe to wear during pregnancy. Sorry, that was pregnancy brain. They are safe to use during pregnancy. Did you hear I just said safe to wear during pregnancy? That is pregnancy brain. Um, Okay, increased bodily fluids. That one sounds fun. Fluids during pregnancy support your baby's growth. Fluids also make your ligaments and bones more flexible. My eyes are really, really blurry, and I do feel a little bit of swelling in the ankles. So that's all from these bodily fluids. Diet, it's the same rules. I'm just repeating them for those who have dialed into this pregnancy series during the later week. I'm gonna repeat them very quickly because I've been saying them every week, but your diet is very important. No alcohol. No raw fish, no soft cheeses that are unpasteurized. No swordfish, no fresh tuna. What are you eating? You're eating lots of protein. Still, lots of folic acid, foods that are rich in omega-3s, iodine, calcium, vitamin D, and vitamin B. That's the deal. Checklist. Schedule another dental visit so you're keeping on top of the health of your gums and making sure you don't have swollen or bleeding gums. Start planning your maternity leave. Look at what your company allows for. Think about how much time you can take. Start to think about childcare. Also, for when you go back to work, if you'll be going back to work in an office, even if you're working from home, you might need some childcare. You might need to be sharing the baby with your partner. You might need to for your mother to be stepping in. You might need to hire a babysitter. You might be considering other forms of childcare. So start to look into what's available in your neighborhood. So anyway, that's it for week 17. Thank you so much for dialing in. Can't wait to see you guys next week for week 18. It's been really, really fun. Hang in there. If you've recently had a prenatal test, I'm saying a prayer for you that everything is healthy and that it will be smooth waters from here on in. And I'm wishing you all the best and I will see you next week. 